Over the past couple of weeks, I've been making a Minecraft VR series, and other big creators like Purpled or Tommy and it have also been making Minecraft VR videos. So, how exactly do you play Minecraft VR on the Oculus Quest 2 or any other VR headset? Let's find out. Let me just start off by saying that if you're using the Oculus Quest or Quest 2, you can't just use this like some other VR app where it's completely untethered and you can bring it places. Minecraft VR is a PC VR game, meaning that you're gonna need to connect the Quest to a powerful gaming PC, which don't worry, we'll cover in this tutorial. If you want to make sure your gaming PC is up to spec, you can run the Steam VR compatibility tool linked in the description. So in this video, I'm going to be going over how to set up PC VR for the Oculus Quest or Quest 2, how to download and install Minecraft VR, and just any other additional info or features that you want to know about. So without further ado, let's get started. So as I already mentioned, you're going to need to connect the Oculus Quest to a powerful gaming PC for this to run. Now Oculus actually has two official ways to do this. Oculus Link or Air Link. Air Link wirelessly streams your PC to your Oculus Quest using Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, Oculus Link goes the more traditional way, using the cable. For Airlink, you're going to need a pretty good 5GHz Wi-Fi connection, and for Oculus Link, you're going to need a pretty long USB 3.0 cable. I linked mine in the description down below. So the first step for both of them is to install the Oculus app and the Steam VR. These are crucial for getting Minecraft VR to work, so make sure you have them installed. For Airlink, open the Oculus app, go to the beta section, and check the Airlink option. Then, inside your headset, go to Quick Actions, and if you're on the same Wi-Fi connection, your PC should pop up and you can just click connect. For Oculus Link, you're gonna need to go to your Oculus app, devices, add headset, select your headset, plug your Quest 2 in, and once you see that little green check mark, you're all good to go and it is connected. So inside your headset, you can just click enable AirLink and you'll be all good. Now that we have PC VR set up, we can go ahead and install Minecraft VR. Now we're gonna be using something called Vivecraft that only works with Minecraft Java Edition, so be warned. First, click the link in the description, scroll down until you see your Minecraft version, click the button and then click the Vivecraft Installer VR Edition, not the non-VR edition. Once that's installed, you can just run the program and if you're getting a firewall error, you can click it, more info and then run anyways. And there you go, Vivecraft is all set up. If you go inside your Minecraft launcher, you'll see a new, brand new Vivecraft profile. And if you click launch with your headset on and connected, it should automatically run. Currently, Vivecraft runs at 1.60.5 and I have no idea if they're planning to add 1.17 support, but I'm assuming they probably are. So now that you have Vivecraft set up, let's go over some of the main features of Vivecraft just so you know what you're really getting into. First of all, Vivecraft works just like normal Minecraft. This means that you can join any single Minecraft Java world you have in VR, which is super cool, and it even works on some servers, and we'll cover that a little later. You can fight mobs, mine blocks, and your real life actions actually translate into VR, so punching trees and slicing mobs actually works, although you, there are also buttons in case you, you know, don't want to have to keep ah, all those blocks, which is kind of cool. It is full Optifine support and it works really well, so you guys shouldn't have any issues. So as I mentioned earlier, Vivecraft works on some servers, but not all of them, sadly. I know if I've played on servers like PvP Legacy and BedwarsPractice.club, but some servers like Hypixel sadly don't work. Now you may be asking yourself, well how did Purple do his Hypixel video? Well, he joined BedwarsPractice.club, as I already mentioned, and that's another Bedwars server and Bedwars training server, if you don't already know. And that works with VR. In order for people not using VR to see your movement, they're gonna need to install the non-VR client for Vivecraft. This can be found the same way you find the Vivecraft download, and it should just be directly under it, labeled non-VR. Also, any Spigot or Forge servers need to have the Spigot and Forge Vivecraft mod added, which can also be found in the description down below. So yeah, with the client installed, people not using VR should be able to see your movements, so that's honestly super cool and a great way to have fun with your friends. But there you go, that's everything you need to know for Vivecraft. That's how you get it working, you can create worlds, join servers, and of course set up your own server, which is super cool. Although I will say, be warned. Running around in Minecraft VR is honestly super nauseating and some of the controls are a little janky. It's definitely going to get take some getting used to and building up your VR legs. This is definitely not something you should jump into after first getting your VR headset. But it is honestly super cool and a great way to experience your Minecraft worlds and servers like it's real life. But yeah, that's the end of the video guys. If you enjoyed it, please just go to leave a like, subscribe, comment, anything you want to say. Shout out to all my Patreons, you guys are absolute legends and support me for what I do. Follow me on all my social medias, join our Discord server, and if you want to support me on the Patreon, the link is in the description down below. But as always guys, stay questing.